This is Chicho. Welcome to Math in Real Life. In this section, what we're going to do is talk about food, uh, farming, agriculture, basically how to grow food. Okay. The reason we're going to do this is because to be able to be a farmer, to be able to grow your own food, uh, you need a certain amount of mathematics. Okay. The other reason we're going to talk about this is because food security is a major issue. We're in two, at the beginning of 2013 and it's, and it's huge. It's, it, 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 it's one of the most important issues of our time and it's going to become more and more important as time progresses for multiple reasons uh, that you know, we're not going to get into in this section. But the most obvious one, of course, being that the population of this planet is increasing and everybody needs to be fed, right? Now, for me, as far as I'm concerned, uh, how to grow food, a certain, uh, the, the principles of farming should be a mandatory program in every curriculum on this planet, starting basically in elementary school, going all the way through high school. Now, as far as I know, there is no such program being implemented in Canada or in the United States, and I'm not sure about any other countries. Uh, if there is, please let me know. I'd be really interested in taking a look at it, okay? So um, what we're going to do is learn some of the basics, uh, some of the logistics of what it means to be a farmer and what it means to grow food. Now, I'm not a farmer, not by a long shot. I do have a green thumb uh, that I acquired about 10 years ago, but I haven't even come close to growing enough food to be able to feed myself a single meal, let alone sustain my life. However, I do have two friends that are farmers and they've agreed to walk us through uh, what it means to be a farmer, to, to show us some of the logistics of growing food, some of the things you have to think about when you're going about uh, growing your own food. Okay. Now, to give you a little history, I met up with Marv and Vanessa a couple of years ago through a mutual friend at a potluck and um, he, my friend knew that I was looking for music to edit with my uh, the language of mathematics videos and Marv also produces music and makes animation and uh, creates his own videos and I listened to some of his music and I loved it so I ended up uh, cutting his music into my math videos and through that whole process I got to know them a little bit and I found out what it is that they were doing which is basically flying out we live in Vancouver British Columbia Canada on the west coast of Canada and and for the last three years, what, they were, what they've done is fly out from the west coast of Canada all the way to the east coast of Canada, to New Brunswick, to work some of the land that Vanessa's family has. And what they've done there is basically started a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, Community Sponsored Agriculture. And um, what that means is basically they go out to the community and they say that they're you know, running a certain type of farm and their farm is organic. And, uh, you know, they ask for the community if they want to buy into this farm. Uh, whoever that wants to buy in gives them a certain amount of money at the beginning of the season when the farmers need the money to buy their supplies. And when harvest time comes, whoever's bought into the program, every week they end up getting a certain amount of fresh vegetables freshly picked from the farm. Fantastic concept. And this is. Uh, a concept that's been around for a, a number of years, number of decades really from what I understand. But during the last few years, because of uh, the issues being raised by uh, regarding food security, uh, CSAs have been growing exponentially. And a lot of people are you know, trying to get into these kinds of programs. And some places in Canada and the United States, there are waiting lists to buy into farms like this. Okay, and um, sort of to give you an idea of uh, what it is that Marv and Vanessa do, uh, like I mentioned, Marv, you know, makes his own music, edits his own video, and does some animation and stuff like this. And he ended up putting a little short video together, uh, putting the last two, three years together. And they're both coming to this project with a tremendous amount of experience in farming. So what they've done, they they went in there with a business plan, and Marv sort of. Uh, documented video log the, uh, that the, their process of what they've what they've done for the last two years and coming on to the third year and he's made a little short video of this so what we're going to do is uh, have a look at this video this should give you a pretty good idea of who Marvin and Vanessa are and what it is that they're doing and um, after this video af after the video is done what we're going to do in the next video is take a look at the map of the farm, what you know, learn some of the terminology, some of the definitions, and uh, some of the things involved 
in setting up the, the, the sections where they're growing food. And after that, we'll come back and, uh, you know, have a little conversation with Marvin and Vanessa and have them explain, um, you know, run us through what it is that they're doing and how they're going about it. Okay, um, hope you enjoy the video and this is basically what Marv and Vanessa are doing. Uh, if you're interested, uh, this is uh, this section of Math in Real Life is uh, going, going to be uh, us uh, picking the brain of Marv and Vanessa and learning uh, some of the things that they've learned. Basically trying to apprentice as much as we can on a video, uh, on a video level, not hands-on, uh, of what it means to be a farmer and what it means to be able to grow food, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy the little short. Le 20 avril, 2012, dans la péninsule acadienne, dans le nord-est du Nouveau-Brunswick, où se trouvait autrefois une forêt et maintenant une sorte de champ. Une pile de fenêtres et des chutes de bois sont transformées en une serre. Une jeune fermier commence le long travail de cultiver des aliments pour une autre saison. Il est maintenant la troisième saison. Le premier était humide avec beaucoup d'insectes. La jeune fermier tournait le sol de ses ancêtres et couvrir le pays avec des chais de poissons et de tours. Un mélange riche. Les graines ont été plantées et le jardin fleurit. Légumes grandis en bonne santé, sans pesticides toxiques. La nature a donné généreusement. Les carottes dansées. Dans la deuxième saison, elle a décidé de trouver de l'aide. Un jeune homme convenu. Ensemble, ils ont doublé la production agricole. Ils ont construit une serre et tournent de plus de la terre. Malgré un été chaud, les cultures restaient productives. Pommes de terre. Chourave. d'Écosse et mon herbe favorite, la nette, parfait pour les soupes et les sauces, comme un grain séché, simplement délicieux. Avec deux étés de plus en plus derrière eux et le soutien de la communauté locale, les jeunes fermiers réussiraient sûrement. Ou du moins, survivre.